So today we're gonna be talking about cash cans. Yes. This, what you're seeing right here. And uh, don't mind that I don't have a supercharger in my old three Cobra. I could definitely explain. Cash cans are designed to do one thing, and that is to catch the oil vapors and the oil so it prevents to get into your intake manifold or in my case, supercharger. Now, I don't have a supercharger on my car. If this is your first time here, I remove my supercharger and I don't have currently a supercharger in my old 3 Cobra. But, you know, the theory here, it's the same. Okay, so here we have the PCV valve. Now I'm gonna show you a video of the demonstration. How does a PCV valve Words. A PCV system routes the vapors from the pressurized crankcase back to the intake manifold where they can be burnt in the combustion process. During the last part of the combustion stroke, some unburned fuel and the byproducts of combustion leak past the ceiling rings on the piston and into the crankcase. This leakage is referred to as blow-by. Blow-by gases enter the crankcase under the pressure of combustion. As a result, the crankcase becomes pressurized. If the pressure in the crankcase is not relieved, the pressure will force the oil in the crankcase past the seals and gaskets, causing oil leaks. Combustion gases that enter the crankcase are removed by the positive crankcase ventilation system, or PCV. The movement of the vapors from the crankcase lowers the pressure in the crankcase. Fresh air from the PCV air inlet enter the opposite valve cover and flow through the cylinder head openings into the crankcase. This constant circulation of fresh air into the crankcase and flow of vapors from the crankcase to the PCV valve and intake manifold results in a reduction of pressure in the crankcase and a burning of the vapors through the combustion process. Okay, so here's the PCV valve and here's my cash can. The way that I have it set up is that the PCV valve is gonna release the crankcase pressure and it's gonna go run through these holes and it's gonna convert those hot um, vapors, those, those hot vapors, and it's gonna turn them into oil. It's gonna sit on the bottom here and then clean air is gonna run back to the, to the supercharger in my case. Or if you don't have a supercharger, your intake manifold. So you can see guys how dirty and filled with oil this intercooler is. You could actually see oil on this border and just how dirty this thing honestly it's it's filthy and it's just nasty how this thing is. So we're gonna try to take this off today, just clean it up and you know and for the next video we're gonna do a comparison between a porter eaten versus a non-porter one so stay tuned for that one we're gonna clean this up we're gonna also try to not uh, these things these bolts supposedly they break when you take them off so they say to use a torch to fire it up and then just heat them up and break the, uh, the lock tie on these so we're gonna try to do that without the, the torch and we'll see, we'll see if we get lucky. Check this out, how dirty and filthy and filled with oil. I mean, I just, let me put my flashlight so we could, okay, lift it up. Here, let's come out here so we could get some light. Here, there you go. I'm trying to get the light, sorry. It's good? Yeah. Look at how much oil and darkness. I don't know if the camera's doing it justice. Stay there. 
and not only that look how my supercharger was inside look guys I cannot stress it enough like look oil drip that's an oil drip right there oh my we just saved this I mean we saved this car look at all this oil inside look at all the oil I mean I know this is a little bit WD-40 but check all that out and look at inside I cannot stress enough you need a cash can you need this I put this too late on the car because I obviously I only had this car for a year but this car when I bought this car the vacuums were wrong and this car was pretty much making bulls at idle without a cash can so all that oil years and years I mean 17 18 years is just dumping oil into this motor and this is what you get look at that I mean how how you cannot get any cooling through here I'm so sorry you cannot get cooling through here Check out this inner cooler guys, this thing looks just unreal, so much cleaner than how it looked in the beginning of the of the video when, when we took it out from, from the supercharger and man I cannot stress enough that cat, even though I put a cash can it was already too late and you can see it but this thing is just going to cool down so much better and not having oil there it's just going to make it a lot nicer for the Cobra to run and put down some nice numbers so okay so you can see right there there's oil right there on the bottom I mean this is the ports for the head and they're filled with those oil years and years so of not running it a cash can so there you guys have it um, this will definitely definitely help you out with your supercharge or booster mode if you ever have a turbo because those crank uh, cases those pressures on those valve covers they're tremendous and they will route oil into your supercharger or intake manifold if you have a turbo so it's very very important to have this because these things will literally save your motor so Hopefully you found and you learned something new and if you didn't learn something new you found this video to be helpful This will do it for now. So thank you for watching Stay tuned for the next videos. Take care. I'll see you later